Bonjour! 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 <laughs> and welcome to the art of baby hairs. On today's episode, you'll be learning how to achieve these classic baby hair swoops with just three products and a couple of quick and easy steps. So here's what you'll need. Some Gatsumi glue, preferably the black bottle, mousse of your choice, and optional some Gorilla Glue. And of course, your edge brush. Now let's get started. Okay, so first things first, when trying to achieve the style, you want to make sure that your hair is nicely thinned out in the front, just so when you swoop and lay your baby hairs, they won't be too bulky. There's no specific strategy I use to pluck this part. My only goal is to make sure that it's naturally thinned out. So once I finish plucking, I take a pair of scissors or a hair razor, and I begin to shred off some hair using a layering motion. Now you want to use a layering cut when shearing this hair off so that your baby hairs can be shorter in the front but keep a length in the back just like regular hair would. So since I want three swoops of baby hairs, I'm going to repeat this process two more times. Starting with the plucking and then moving on to the cut. And now for the exciting part. Mousse makes it so much easier to swoop your hair. It literally makes your hair go anywhere you want it to. So once you apply your mousse, you want to use your brush to create your swoop and your finger to hold your swoop in place so that it doesn't lose its form as you're swooping. You get it? Maybe we should just watch and learn this part. So I like to add some Gots to Be Glue on my swoop for some extra firmness. The Gots to Be Glue hardens the swoop and holds the style. If you don't have Gots to Be Glue, you can use the Gorilla Snot to perform the same act. Just keep in mind that the Gorilla Snot gets a little bit more flaky than the Gots to Be Glue. So quick tip. To make the parting in between each swoop more distinctive, I plucked away the hair that lied and the parts that separated the swoop. So now with these same techniques, you will repeat them on each swoop. Once you're done, don't be alarmed that your hair looks a little wet because when it is dry, it'll look like this. And once I installed it, this was my final product. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in yet another tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, I'll see you then.